An adult rabbit drinks around 100 to 600 ml of water daily, depending on the temperature and their diet. This equates to around 50 to 150 ml for every kilogram your rabbit weighs. A 2 kilogram rabbit may drink as much as a 10 kilogram dog, which can surprise some people as they tend to think rabbits aren't big drinkers. Uh, a rabbit whose diet is mostly made up of fresh green grass and green vegetables is going to drink less than a rabbit whose diet is primarily made up of hay, some vegetables and some pellets, as the grass and green vegetables have a higher moisture content, which allows the bunny to get some of their needed daily fluids through their food. It is important to take note of how much your rabbit usually drinks in a day so that you can become familiar with their norm and are able to notice if this changes. As I mentioned earlier, water consumption can vary with temperature and diet, but a variation in how much your rabbit is drinking can also be an indication of illness, so it's a good thing to be able to monitor. Monitoring how much fluid is excreted by your bunny is also a good way to keep an eye on their health. As a guide, normal urine production for an adult rabbit is between 120 to 130 ml per kilogram of body weight per day. Of course, I'm not suggesting you measure your rabbit's wee, but taking note of how your rabbit's litter box normally looks is a good way to catch illnesses early and be able to intervene before they progress any further. If your rabbit does start drinking excessively, which is referred to as polydipsia, or has excessive and frequent urination, which is referred to as polyuria, it could be a symptom of such things such as liver failure, kidney failure, diabetes, uh, a reaction to certain medications or an indication of a behavioural problem and should be checked by your vet. Likewise, if your rabbit has a noticeable reduction in their water intake, this should also be checked by your vet as dehydration can be very serious. Fresh water should be available at all times for your rabbit and can be offered in a bowl or a water bottle. I prefer bowls as I feel water bottles make it a lot harder work for the rabbit to get the fluids they need. Uh, when I first got my oldest rabbit's coke on Snowflake, I bought them a water bottle as I didn't realise that they didn't know how to drink from one, they could only drink from a bowl. Um, and I finally figured this out when I brought them home after seeing they hadn't touched the bottle at all like for hours. Um, so I gave them a bowl of water from which they at once drank a lot straight away. So it's a good thing to keep in mind when you are organising a pen or a new area for a new rabbit. Um, and if you haven't got the situation where you can ask the person you're adopting them from what the bunny's preference is, you can provide both bottle and bowl for them and see what they take too. Likewise, if you want to swap from a bottle to a bowl or vice versa, it is a good idea to introduce the new drinking vessel while still leaving the old one where it is while the rabbit adjusts. Although I've never known a rabbit to have trouble figuring out how to use a bowl of water. Um, although I really do feel that the best place for a rabbit is indoors, I know everyone's situation is different. So if your rabbit is outside and you choose to give them a water bowl, uh, you need to make sure it stays free from insects. Uh, regardless as to if your rabbit is indoors or outdoors, you need to choose a large and flat-based heavy uh, weight bowl for their water so that it can't easily be tipped over and spilt. I particularly like these large heavy glazed bowls for two or more rabbits as they hold a good amount of water. However, they are quite heavy to lift, so if this is going to be an issue, these type of smaller glazed bowls are great too. You just may need to provide multiple ones for if you've got a few rabbits. If you choose a water bottle for your bunny, you need to regularly check that the dripper spout isn't blocked and restricting the water flow. Uh, you can get a variety of water bottles of different sizes and designs. Some are made from glass and some from plastic. And you can now also get freeze resistant ones, which are a great idea if your bunny is outside. With an outdoor rabbit, you must make sure that their water isn't frozen during the winter. This applies to both bowl and bottle. Your rabbit's water should be changed at least once a day. I wash the bowls with a sponge and hot water daily, just to make sure that any build up of slime from back washing the water is scrubbed right off the bowl. A water bottle should be scrubbed with warm water and a bottle brush, paying particular attention to the inner rim where a slimy coating can build up, and also up the dripper spout to make sure there is no backwashed pieces of food that could cause a blockage there and stop the water from coming out. Once I've cleaned the bowls, I can then fill straight from the tap with cold water as I have a whole house water filter connected to my mains water inlet. I feel filtered water is better as it removes some of the chemicals and is a lot more appetising for your bunny to drink without that strong chlorine smell. 
Also, if you're in an area where you have hard water, that's water with a high mineral content, some water filters are capable of removing the excess amounts of calcium in that sort of water, which, as I mentioned in my previous video on hay, is not good for rabbits. You can get many different types of water filters, from the ones that connect your mains water inlet to your home, as I have, to plastic jugs that have two separate reservoirs with a charcoal filter in the middle. With these types, you fill the top reservoir with water and it passes through the charcoal and collects in the bottom reservoir, filtered and fresh. Uh, then there are also filters that connect to your tap and pottery type ones that sit on your bench and you fill from the tap. So many different varieties to explore and compare if you wish to. Okay, that's all on water for this video. My next video in this series will be on greens, appropriate vegetables to feed rabbits and their daily greens requirements. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.